Hello everyone, this is Mohan Raghavan. This time we are going to see YAML with Python. So in this video, we will be seeing what is YAML and what is the difference between YAML and JSON and how do we handle YAML with Python. YAML introduction. So YAML includes a human readable structured format. The acronym stands for YAML in markup language. So it is called recursive because the short form YAML itself will be the part of the acronym. So that is called recursive acronym. Commonly used for configuration files and in applications where data is being stored and transmitted. So generally it will be the format of the configuration files. As you guessed correctly, the extension of these files is .yaml. And YAML is a superset of JSON. When you consider the configuration file or the transmission files, that will be in the normally of XML or JSON or let's say YAML file. XML has some more tags, so it will be not a lightweight. Next level is JSON. JSON will not have any tags starting and ending, but it will have key and value pairs and it will have the braces. But whereas in YAML, we don't have anything, only we have the indentation, hyphen, and that's all. Even we don't have the double quotes as well for the values. An YAML parser can understand JSON because it's a superset of JSON but it not in the other way. So AML JSON sample you can see here. On your right side you can see the JSON, on your left side you can see the YAML. In JSON the first line simple property and you will have the value for that. Both will be in the double quotes but whereas in YAML you don't have any double quotes directly the key and value separated by the colon. Second example object property and it is the key and you have the JSON object as the value. Inside that you have internally again two key and value pairs. Whereas in your right side or left side, you have the object property. To represent the JSON object or the braces, it will be in the second line. And each item will be in the new line to represent the list of items or let's say number of items in the JSON object. Next one on your right side, you have the array of objects. But here you don't have the JSON object. Here you have the list of items. In the list of items, you can see the two items which has again two JSON objects internally again. Whereas the first item will be like item one, property one, the key and one, and item one, property two, and the value is two. So this all together will be considered as a one object because it comes under the braces. And second object is again item two, property one, and item two, property two. So this all together will be considered as a second JSON object. But this all two JSON objects will come under the list of the array of objects. Now on your left side, you will see the array property, which is the key again. And now you have the list of items. And like above is list of, let's say the JSON object. Here you have the list of item. Each item in the list will be represented with the iPhone symbol. So you can see here two iPhone symbol. That means that two items are available in the list of items. So the first item again contains a JSON object. So for that, you will have two items. So it will come in the second line as usual, like above one. And second line item, again, it will have two items internally in the JSON object. So it will come in the two line as well. And especially in AML, you will have the command session. Whereas in JSON, we don't have the command session. So this is one of the advantages of AML as well. So just a comparison between the AML and JSON. Here, there is no double quotes as we see here when compared to JSON and AML. JSON structure curly buckets comma are replaced by the new lines and indentation. So if you see the second example, that is a JSON object which started with braces and end with braces. Whereas in on your left side, you don't have any braces and as usual, every item will be separated with the new line. There is no comma here. And same way array brackets. In Python, the array will be considered as a list and the braces will be considered as a, let's say set or in this case, it will be dictionary because it has the key and value pair. If you are familiar with Python's data structures, it will be very easy. So here we have the array brackets. In general, you can consider as a list of items. So each list of items will be separated by the iPhone and each item will be coming to the next line. And next one, unlike JSON, AML allows commands beginning with a hash mark. The same like Python, we have the hash symbol to represent the commands in the YAML. And the same way, in Python, we have the indentation to represent the new lines or the list of items. The same way in YAML also, we are using the indentation to represent the key and value pairs. 
so in coming session we are going to see to how to convert the json into yaml and yaml into json we have the python module named py yaml so that we are going to do in the next video to convert the json to yaml and yaml to json and commands will be lost when you convert the yaml document to json because json will not have any commands so whatever the commands you have in the yaml that we if you convert into json it will not be available as you see clearly yaml does not use any extra delimiters apart from the colon so so it's very lightweight than xml and json because xml will have start and end tag and json will have the braces and as well as the quotes so here we don't have anything only the content but indentation with hyphen symbol so that's all so this is the overall introduction about the yaml in next video we will be seeing how to convert the yaml and json using the py yaml module so these are the references which i referred for the yaml understanding so thanks all thanks for watching and have a great day